everybody, Ali Akbarian, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A. Thank you very much for sending in your questions and thank you for tuning in. We love those questions and we love that support for you guys are watching the channel. And uh, we'd love you to uh, continue on that support by hitting the subscribe button that looks a bit like this beautiful pillow down there somewhere. We'd love your support to get to that thousand subscriber button, the thousand subscriber mark, should I say. And then um, I'll get rid of this uh, pillow and we'll find something else as well. So on to today's question. So today's question comes from our therapist community. Thank you very much to our wonderful therapist community. Uh, basically, it's a very simple question. Um, and what they, it's a, it's an, basically they have a client that is traveling around in a wheelchair accessible vehicle, sort of like this one in the back of the vehicle. So you have a ramp that comes in and, and the person would sit in the back of the vehicle. So the person is traveling around in the back on their stroller. So it's a smaller child and they have a particular medical stroller that they're traveling around in. And basically she has asked three questions. Um, this OT is, is um, do we need a doctor's certificate tra to travel this way in the stroller? Um, do you need to use the, the lap sash seatbelt on the vehicle um, or do you use the harness built into the stroller and um, anything else is it legal actually to travel in that uh, stroller as such. So the first question I'll ask is, is it legal to travel in the stroller? Uh, first and foremost, yes, if the stroller is approved for transport. So you need to check with the manufacturer of the stroller that it is a transport approved device. It's met crash safety uh, test crash test safety requirements. Um, and a little bit of a hint on that would be if you've got transit tie down points. Um, and if it doesn't have transit tie down points, it still could be crash tested. You may just need to go and get, um, or it still may be approved, you just might need to go buy the transit tie down points and bolt them on as an option. So, um, so yeah, that's basically the first and foremost. The second part is, do you need a doctor's certificate to travel in the wheelchair that way? Yes, technically you do. Um, there is a bit of a, like a question mark around that. Some people might say you don't, some people might say you do. I would err on the side of you do, not because I think that you should, but more that um, the, that part of the law is a little bit gray. And uh, I guess if, you could, if it's just a piece of paper that will save you a fine or battling it out in court, just go get it. But that's kind of the way I think about it. So, um, so yeah. That's that part. Uh, and then the last part, which is, I've left it for last because I want to highlight it as the most important part, is securing the occupant and securing the child. Uh, they've asked, can I use the harness that's in the, in the, um, in the, in the stroller or like the, the, the belts in the stroller, is that sufficient? And absolutely not. It's not sufficient in any way, shape or form. It's not legal and it's, it's potentially very dangerous as well. Um, you must use the lap sash seatbelt that is connected to the vehicle body um, that is basically uh, goes around. You, you, those harnesses can still be used as postural support, but then the seatbelt will go around the front of everything and basically secure them, be in line with their shoulder and on their hips. And we've, we've, we've had plenty of videos um, and we can link a couple down below basically on the ones that we've done um, that covers lap sash seat belts and how important they are and how you really should be using them and even how to fit them and so on. So yeah, that's basically that. So yeah, uh, long and short of it, just a recap is stroller, traveling in the back of a wheelchair accessible vehicle, is it legal? Um, do I need a doctor's certificate? What sort of seatbelt? Um, yes, it's legal as long as it's an approved wheelchair or stroller for that purpose, for transport, it's got the transit tie down points. Uh, doctor's certificate, I would recommend on the, uh, on the side of getting one, even if you don't really think you need it, probably better just in case. Um, and last but not least, the seatbelt needs to be the actual seatbelt that's built into the vehicle structure, a proper approved seatbelt, not the stuff that's built, the harnesses that are built into the stroller. All right, thanks very much for tuning in and thanks for the, the question to the community and don't forget that subscribe button down there and we'll see you next time.